Hey, welcome back to our channel. I'm Anna. And I'm Laura. And welcome to our collaboration with the Blanco family. We met Wendy and Claudia through YouTube and we've become the best of friends. They're so sweet. We absolutely love doing this collab with them. So we hope you enjoy it. The only thing is we really wish that we actually could have been in the same room as them. Yeah, that would have been a hell of a lot <laughs> but better. But it's okay. So let's just jump straight into it. Ah! We're so excited. So you can probably tell by the title of this video, but we are doing a say it or shot it. If you want to watch part one, that is on their channel and we have part two. So you watch that now. Yeah, we'll link part one in the description just down below. Hey guys. So we are the Blanco family and we're super excited to be collaborating with the Perry twins. And they are super sweet, amazing. And we're excited, you guys. We're going to be doing a part two with them. If you guys haven't checked out part one, it's on our channel. And we're just excited to do this. Get a shot it. Ah, you guys are going to get to know us a lot more. Really a lot. Like, these are some personal questions. They want us to know a lot of things about us. Right, sis? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So make sure to like and comment on this video. And check our channel out as well. We are the Blanco family. Mm -hmm. And part one is on our channel. So definitely check that out. But let's get ready for this part two. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe just down below. So obviously in a say it or shot it video, you need shot glasses and gin. So <laughs> that's our drink of choice. Let's go. Okay, so question number one, who is your favourite sibling? Now, we actually don't have favourite siblings. We actually are all just as close as each other. Yeah, we're all, ju we're all just as mm. close. There's literally like, I don't want to answer this. No, but it's like, not even like it, that is the God's honest truth. But I'd probably say is. if I had to answer with one person, one sister, then it would be you because we've got this channel together. We've lived our whole lives together. We came it's to the world bond, together. It? Yeah, it's a twin bond. It's so. like we've experienced mm. everything together. But so we it's like we love our sisters we love more than Eva, Cara, exactly yeah. the same as we love each other. But I'd say we're probably closer, and we could say in that respect, favorite in a sense because we do everything together yeah and we can we can relate to each other like with everything yeah so exactly yeah. it's a twin thing isn't it? yeah so in that way you're my favorite <laughs> who is your favorite sibling and you have to say one but i don't have a favorite one no there, there's one that you are mm. who is it i feel like you have to say one you don't have to you don't have to you don't have to I think it's his favorite. Like you have to pick. Who's your favorite? I love both, but me? Are you for real? Don't lie. Oscar's gonna be jealous. He's gonna be jealous. So no. So who's your favorite <laughs> sibling? I don't have a favorite sibling. No, you guy. said me. Mm. You said me. Okay. So who's your favorite sibling? I will say my sister you guys really bad right i mean i love both it's of them <laughs> but it's like we're the same kind of age group i feel like i'm able to relate a lot more and you know it's my sis oh, like, he's, gonna right? be jealous. he's gonna be a little jealous but i love both of them but we're talking about we have to answer it yeah and i don't want to take a shot so yeah okay so yeah like both of them are my favorites mm. but if there's just a little like little hint more little like one it's not even one percent more it's just a tiny bit i would have to say my sister just because you know, like, we're both girls. We can, like, really relate on certain things. Mm -hmm. And we won't, like, judge each other that much. Okay, so question number two is, have you ever fought over a guy before? No. 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 That was easy. That no. was a really easy one, no. Like, and we never would. We haven't fought over a guy in the sense, like, I want him. It's more like, but, that guy needs to go. You need to get rid of him. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's like that. Yeah, bye. Next. Second question. So, have you ever fought over a guy before? I don't think we have to do a shot over this. No. We've never fought for a guy. Like, we we have, sometimes we have similar tastes. And we've liked the same guy before. Mm -hmm. You know, we talked or had a conversation with the same guy before. But it's mm -hmm. never, like, too deep in, like, where we want to have a relationship yeah. with the same guy or, like, fought. So, no, we never fought for a guy before, but we definitely liked the same guy before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I've never fought for a guy. Mm -hmm. No. Never that, Booski. No. Never said. Question number three. What's the biggest lie you've ever told to each other? Probably 
probably just like borrowing your clothes but like not telling you and being like I don't have that what you on about I don't have that top but I know where it is it's because you annoyed me <laughs> you stole my bible and scribbled out my name and wrote your name <laughs> when I was very little that wasn't a thing right um yeah I'd say stealing clothes we've never lied to each other about anything else like we're so no, not like me we're Nicole. completely open about everything yeah like we, we tell each other everything like we're each other's best friends so what is the biggest lie you ever told each other because yeah the biggest lies was when i lost my v card i didn't tell her but i told my brother before her and at the time we're not close we were not really really close so when she found out she started bawling out because oh she was God. hurt that i didn't tell her you I guys i was so far and we said this in part one a little bit but Check that out, mm -hmm. and we're gonna give you a little bit more tea of what we said. But I yeah. was definitely crying because she didn't let me know, and like I thought we were a little bit more closer than that. But you know, the time frame and everything like that, she couldn't yeah. tell me first. So yeah. Okay. I don't have one. I can't think of one in the moment, so I'm gonna give myself a shot. We got some Jack Daniels, you guys. Sheesh. I know we have Jack Daniels. Kills me. I know. <laughs> okay. Okay. So next, ooh, ooh, okay. Okay, so question number four, do you miss an ex? Me or you first? You can go first. Nope, I don't miss an ex whatsoever. That's because you've got a fiance though, so that one's easy I'm for you. I'm really happy in my relationship. Um, do well, you miss an ex? Mine's a bit more complicated, but I suppose in a way, yes. I feel like you need to say no with that one. I don't feel like you can just say yes, or just be like, or like whisper it to me. I think you need to say it. Okay, well, I'm just going to take a shot. I, I think you should take a shot because I don't think it justifies it just by... That's fine. It's no, okay. tell me to not take a shot. You can you do You already that. know. You already know. Because I'm still friends with this person as well, so... Yes. Okay, take a shot. <laughs> First <laughs> shot. Oh, my gosh. Okay, bottoms up, bottoms up. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh. I hope you have to take a shot. I think I'm doing pretty well so far. Maybe I won't need to. So do you miss an ex? I would say that I don't miss no ex because they are an ex for a reason. And yeah, I don't I don't miss an ex at all. And I've never gone back with one. Yeah, so I've never I never miss I don't miss an ex. I just miss like the persona and character mm -hmm. and you know, because they had good intentions, they were good people. But I don't miss them to the fact where I want to go back with them. I want to be in a relationship That's with them true. because they aren't in my life for a reason. Mm -hmm. Okay. Five, your least favorite YouTuber or influencer? I don't really have a least favorite, so I'm like, mm, I don't, I don't have a least favorite YouTuber. I only watch people that I want to watch, so it's and not. That's it, yeah. Yeah, it's not that I have a least. Oh, I suppose you'd have to answer. We kind favorite. of have to answer, yeah. So. I, th I think we should just take a shot to be fair because you haven't took one yet anyway and you, you can't say a least favourite if you don't have a least favourite I don't have a least favourite I don't have a least favourite so I, I think we've answered I feel it. like this was that we answered this in part one but I can't remember if we actually answered it but I don't think we did because we couldn't think of one okay I think we just need to take a shot just give us a shot it's fine it's fine. I don't have a least favourite, but if, to be fair, if I did have a least favourite, I don't think I'd say it. Performing this really awkwardly. Bit more, bit more. Oh, oh no, like... it's strong, isn't it? It's potent. Ooh. Cheers. Cheers. I spilled some all over my phone. All over my phone. And it's gin. Quick, you're wearing black. I'm like, I could so... stop because I'd already started drinking. Oh, it. no, I'm soaked. Thank God my phone's waterproof. Okay. Mm. We didn't even do it at the same time, Gutted. You ruined it. Just shake it off, it's fine. Oh my god, the aftertaster. Oh, it gets you every that? time. Like, you were doing three of us. I don't know. Just it's something I do when I take a shot. Okay. Next. And then next one is your least favorite YouTuber or influencer. Your least favorite. So my least favorite would be um, Miranda Sings. We said another another one too. So it's not that I don't like hate or anything like that I just didn't like her, the way she spoke it was really it was really messed up of me but I just didn't like how she spoke yeah <laughs> and I, I don't know like the voice just like I don't know just yeah. irritating me I'm not gonna lie before I didn't really like like Bramty from the Bram fam because I thought her fa her family was like really really crazy um. but it was because like 
it was just something new to YouTube and I wasn't used to it. But then I, I grew to like, like watch them. their videos and I liked it and I was like, they're crazy. Like that's their family and mm -hmm. I really love their channel now. But so then, I'm not going to lie, I did not like them at first. Mm -hmm. I thought that their family was crazy mm -hmm. and their kids were crazy. But I'm like, kids are crazy, like, you know? And the only thing is she records it, you know? Yeah. There could be other families on YouTube that don't record the craziness but are mm -hmm. crazy. Mm -hmm. So I grew to love them and I really love their family. Okay, yeah, I love them. Question number six, did you ever sneak out during lockdown? That's easy. Nope. No. Like, not at all. Like, we wouldn't risk ourselves or our family or anyone else. Or our friends. Yeah, we wouldn't, we wouldn't risk anyone. Mm -hmm. That's it. Did you ever sneak out during lockdown? We didn't sneak out. We didn't we were sneak just out. home, you guys. Yeah. Like, during the lockdown, we were home. We didn't do any, like, you know, we, were out. we weren't out. Only until, like, you know, we were able yeah. to. But that's it. Question number seven, this actually kind of links to a previous one. Oh gosh, is it about an ex again? It might be. Okay, would you ever get back with an ex? Absolutely not. Never, ever, ever. Mm. Would you? All, all of my relationships I've kind of ended, well I have ended anyway. On good terms. On good terms. Mm. So, but yeah, it's like the guys weren't bad, so yeah, I probably would. They, yeah, they were all great say, friends, weren't they, as well? You like, can actually get back with most of them. Most, most of, of them. <laughs> but, yeah, no, I probably, I probably would. If you ever get back with an ex, I wouldn't go back with an ex, you guys. That person's an ex for a reason, and we just gotta continue moving forward. Um, and, yeah, never gone back with an ex. Yeah, I don't think I would go back out with an ex. Mm -hmm. I feel like they're not, we're not dating for a reason, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't. Question number eight is how old were you when you lost your V? Well, well I'm not saying that on the internet, so I'll take a shot please. I think I'm gonna join you. <laughs> you can fill that up. I'm I've had a whole extra shot. Could you I'm actually? To. I had to. <laughs> Keep you going. Go on, top it more. We'll do it to the line, yeah? Yes. Pass me Where mine is. Mine's down the line! Hold on. Oh, Hold no, it. it's not. Okay, swap. Go on. Okay, it's maybe a bit over. I've already had an extra shot. Cheers. Cheers. How old were you when you lost your V? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take a shot you Where? I'm saying, I'm taking a shot. I'm shotting it. <laughs> I can say because my stomach hurt from part one, you guys. It's bad because my stomach already hurts, you guys. And guys, I, I will not let you guys know. Okay. I, I will tell you guys. It's a part of life, right? All right, let me, let me take so, the shot. Okay. okay. Ugh. Yeah, I'm already. Okay. So, I was 18 when I lost my beam, so I might be hurt. So, hey, you guys, that's a little bit more information of you uh, um, that you know about me. Question number nine, what's your most embarrassing moment with a guy or friend? Uh, I don't know. With a guy or friend? Okay, I think I've got one. When me and Mike first got together, I came period really randomly and he had to go into the shop to buy me tampons and I was mortified. <laughs> it wouldn't bother me now, obviously, and he'd just go into the shop anyway, but I was like no. mortified that's at the time. Actually, that's more mortifying for Mike in the sense that like he, do, he doesn't care, but it's the fact that he's, he's always got embarrassed about things like that, hasn't he? Yeah. It's like a sensitive subject. Okay, you? I don't really know, like I don't... I mean, I'm sure There's I've had plenty. But I'm sure I've had plenty. That's the worst one that I can think of. Um, I mean, uh, come I on. Fell, yeah, I fell down the stairs. When? In front of him and his whole family. <laughs> you never told me that before. I did. In front of who? I did the first one. What's your most embarrassing moment with a guy or friend? So I have many embarrassing moments, you guys. Very many. But one of them that is hilarious is. One of my friends, Danny, every time I like, let's say we go somewhere, he always, let's say there's like someone, um, okay, we're in the stop sign, right? And there's someone next to us. He always puts the window down and like, it, he puts like a really funny song on. 
like some cool like really crazy on and the people just stand at you or at the mall i'm like oh my god he's cute you know he's cute. and he literally tells tells the guy oh look my friend thinks you're cute who does that be oh my god be so awkward i'm like just me oh jesus christ help me like this oh is too my much god. it is the craziest i'm gonna smack on him. I think my most embarrassing story with a guy or a friend was that I tripped over down the stairs mm -hmm. and they kind of saw that and it was so embarrassing because they were attractive so I was doing everything That's possible. the worst. It's, it's, it's the worst. And um, that was so embarrassing. <laughs> and then also, oh my, oh my god, god, you didn't tell them about how when um, I liked this boy and he, I knew he lived nearby us and then he was walking oh, with I? his cousin oh, yeah. and then my sister we we're trying to ma not make him and his friend like notice him like notice us and the first thing she does it's kind of her story the first thing she oh, does yeah. is drop a motorcycle I and, the motor on it, yeah. Yeah, and the motorcycle like goes off and like they see that it's us yeah it was like the loudest noise i'm like why and then they saw us and they just started cracking up i'm like wow i was like oh my god my like, wow claudia yeah, okay Okay, so last but not least, question number 10. Have you ever liked the same guy? Nope. No. No, if anything, that's not our style. No, if anything, I'm him. like, he'd he'd be really good for you. Like, he looks so cute. Like, you two make a good couple. Stuff like that. Yeah, and I always say as well, like, and do you know what? Anna's actually got a slightly different type to me. Haven't you really? Like, sometimes you'll say he's fit. Yeah, and you won't think and, so. And, and like, you're the same as well. Like, yours is different to mine. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. So no, we've never liked the same guy, yeah. but we do have the same taste, but then just not at the same time. Yeah. But we'd never argue over a guy. Never. Ever. Have you ever liked the same guy? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 We definitely have liked the same guy. Mm -hmm. We never like dated a guy that we like. Just we always. It never got like to him. that level, but yeah. we definitely liked the same guy. Before. Yeah, for sure. But that was it with our questions. I hope you guys enjoyed it and had some fun just getting to know us more on a personal level, to be honest with you guys. Like, personal, personal. Right? And if you guys see us a little pump, or especially her, it's because she definitely took some shots before. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, we really had fun doing this collab. It was definitely so, so, so much fun. Yeah. We love the Perry twins. We, you know, talked and... Got to really? know them. Got to know them. Super sweet. We're the same. We are yeah. vegans, you guys. So we share the same interests. And they're fun. They're fun girls. Like us. So make sure you guys show them love because their channel is the bomb, you know? Yeah. And thank you guys for having us on your channel. Yes. And we're hoping for more collabs because we love you guys. Take care. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel as well and show us some love. Alright, so from our family to your family, we are the Blanco family, and let's throw you back into the Perry Twins. So that's all of the questions for Say It or Shot It. That was quite fun. Actually. That was so much fun. Like, I didn't expect half of those questions to be on there. I know, but yeah, you, you had to answer a few tough ones. Mine were quite easy. Show. But yeah, but we're glad we did it, and thank you, Wendy and Claudia, for collaborating with us. This is so much fun, yeah, we and love we can't you wait girls. to do it soon when we actually can be in the same room together thank you so much for watching don't Bye. forget to leave a like and subscribe down below if you're new here and comment because we love to chat and any ideas that you have just leave it in the comments as well because we take every single idea Everyone. on board we've got like a little list of little ideas Things that we're gonna do yeah. so yeah leave them down below and we'll see you in the next one see you in the next one Mwah. Mwah.